Kumpu or buenos dias, magandang umaga. Welcome to my chamber of chakras. And thank you for joining me on another episode of Astro Affirmation for March 13, 2024. And it's the peak of the week. Yes, miércoles, Wednesday ruled by the communication and expression intellectual planet of Mercury. Review and reflect on the week so far. Take in the scenery up here at the top of your hike and see the big picture of your creation. Are you going where you want to go? Get clear. Get clear on your heart's desire and decide. Decide on the path that you want to take to make sure your dreams and visions come true. Yes. Where are you going from here? Do you know where you're going to? Do you like the things that life is showing you? Where are you going to? Do you know? Remember that song? Sung by Diana Ross for the theme song of the movie Mahogany. Yes, 1975, y'all. I think that was my junior high graduation song, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I graduated on the year of the spirit of 76. Oh, yeah. I was a bicentennial junior high valedictorian, excuse me. Graduated from Epiphany Catholic School in El Monte. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yes, I'm telling you, there's a song for everything. I mean, if you've lived as long as I have, you know what I mean? Yeah, sometimes I feel like the librarian of the Akashic Records. Yeah, I'm so old. I'm falling apart over here. Yeah, teeth missing and what's left are wiggling. Mm hmm Yeah, yesterday, my Gen Z son, my baby Z, Zachary Earl Conley, Turn me on to one of the song on his Gen Z playlist. It's called Tight Pants Body Rolls by Leslie Hall. And I loved it. Even though I'm on the fence between the boomers and the Gen Xers, I actually vibed with that video on YouTube. Have you seen it? Yeah, look it up and view it. It's fun. And the song is available on you on iTunes if you want to buy it. But yeah, I was frying up some salmon and tempura shrimp while steaming some shumai. And here comes Zachary in the kitchen. He rarely ever comes out of his room. He's always busy with something. But here comes Zachary making his 100th coffee of the day, Fresh Pod. <laughs> and he's singing this song. And I'm like, um, what song is that? Because, you know, I like the rhythm. That's when he showed me the music video on YouTube. And I was high kicking like Bruce Lee and body rolling like the man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy. <laughs> yes. And, you know, being on the cusp, because I'm on the cusp of Aries and Taurus, April 23rd, right? As well as between the boomers and the Gen Xers, I can see from the perspective of both sides. Yeah, I can relate to both generations. I've looked at clouds from both sides now, from up and down, and still somehow it's cloud illusions I recall. I really don't know clouds at all. <laughs> Joni Mitchell, right?
my Gen Xers. 1966. Holla! VTW. I'm going to make an earring. Earrings of my tooth that fell out the other day. I found my wisdom tooth that fell out several years ago. And I want to make earrings out of them. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. <laughs> Two teeth that fall out on their own. Yeah. Turns out, the one that fell out recently, the other day, was my sweet tooth. Dig that. The reason why I know that is because, <clears throat> you know that chocolate, excuse me, peanut butter cream pie that I showed you that the man bought from Costco over the weekend? Well, I had a really big piece because I'm like, oh my gosh, this is going to be so good, you know. Because the last time I had it, it was really, really good. <clears throat> but then when I tasted it, without my sweet tooth because it had fallen out, it didn't taste right. Yeah, it didn't taste right without my sweet tooth. This one that's been dangling and wiggling for a few months when finally, you know, my miracles gums pushed it out. Like push, push, and I'm like, <laughs> came out. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, and then the fish and the gyoza, you know, and they were tasteless. Yeah, I even ate some pineapples, pineapple spears actually, and fresh picked oranges. And oh my gosh, it, you know, I, I did that to cleanse my palate, you know, to see what's going on with my palate, you know, so I had some fruits to cleanse my palate and they tasted like water, like just plain water. It didn't have that sweetness because my sweet tooth was missing. Food lost its flavor without my bicuspid. So I experimented, okay? I held the tooth in one hand and in the other hand took a piece of that peanut butter chocolate cream pie and tasted it while I was holding my sweet tooth. And boy, it was back, y'all. That perfect blend of peanut butter and chocolate embedded in the sensual sweetness of cream. Oh, yeah. Oh, I savored it. But who knew, right? Me, of course. Either that or I have COVID. <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to make earrings out of these two that fell out on their own. My sweet tooth on this side and my wisdom tooth on the other. Yeah, I'm going to wear them for my meals and for, you know, wisdom. <laughs> Anywho, let's sing our theme song for 2024 before I forget. Okay, here we go. up at 6 30 a.m today 
from yet another weird dream. But I can't remember it. I was like, looked at the clock, 6.30, too early. So I went back to sleep and woke up again, this time at 7.30. Got up to go pee, crawled into bed, and went back to sleep. Oh yeah, I didn't get up until like 9.30, so I'm late again. Why, you ask? Because I can. <laughs> yes, I'm a senior and I'm retired. Besides, I feel the flu trying to take over my body. So I'm giving myself a fighting chance by sleeping more. Yeah, you got to see, clean, and shut down, you know, unplug. If you want to maintain your physical health and support healthy brain function, you got to sleep more. Oh, yeah. Can you believe that it's Wednesday again already? I'm telling you, not only do I find myself jumping from past, present, and future, but I'm also finding time to be just one never-ending day broken up by power naps. Yeah, doing this show helps me keep track of the clock and the calendar. Mm -hmm. Wednesday is a great day to brainstorm ideas for a brighter tomorrow and share it. Share your ideas, your inspirations by scheduling meetings. A great day to schedule meetings, network, events, and make important phone calls. Yeah, catch up on your correspondence. You know, answer those emails and tell your loved ones how much you care. Don't forget about your loved ones. You know, they're always going to be there for you. Yeah. And workshop, you know, workshop Wednesday, right? Workshop ongoing projects to improve yourself and come up with new creative endeavors to make life more beautiful. If you have a problem, now is the time to make a decision. If there was a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out the hook while my DJ revolves it. <laughs> Vanilla Ice 1990. Right? Ice Ice Baby. Yeah, boy. <laughs> With all this mental activity going on, you know, we're moving it outward, making sure that um they manifest you know get that spirit manifested in the physical realm right make sure though that your needs are met don't forget about yourself yeah without you there can be no creation right yeah pay attention to the energy that you're putting out there out into the universe pay attention to that keep it positive you know, walking in the light and living by the spirit, you dig? Yeah. Align your frequency with the good and perfect will of God for your life. The moon is reflecting more and more of the sun's light. It's a waxing crescent moon in my astrological sign, Taurus, the bull. So all my fellow Taurians out there, open up, open up and receive the oil of anointing pouring down from the core of your brain, the land of milk and honey, the pituitary gland is secreting the milk and the pineal gland is secreting the honey and combining it into a sacred secretion, carrying that potential seed. That seed of potential, right? The spiritual seed of potential. Let it freely flow down your spine to take root at the base and grow and develop into the truest of who you are so you can live up to your fullest potential. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling the emotional need for safety and stability, but it's difficult. Yes, I find it hard to attain, you know, safety and stability 
with all these changes going on around here. Yeah. Yeah, we both wobble, but we don't fall down because we like to stay in one place. We don't like changes. I mean, how can a person like me have a sense of security in the middle of chaos, right? I got to like plant my feet firmly on the ground. But that's why I prefer to stay in my safe haven here in my chamber of chakras. Yeah, call me hermit, you know. I love my solitude. Yeah, I just like to be crocheting and binging shows and movies and being with my friends and family in the spirit. Oh yeah, I know I look like I'm by myself, but if you open your internal eye, you'll see that I am never alone. Oh no, I am surrounded constantly by my dearly departed. Yes, reminds me of Prince's song, Dearly Beloved, we are gathered here today to get through this thing called life. Electric word life, it means forever, and that's a mighty long time, but I'm here to tell you there's something else. The afterworld, a world of never-ending happiness. You can always see the sun, day or night. So when you call up that shrink in Beverly Hills, you know the one. Doctor, everything will be all right. Let's go crazy. Let's go nuts. Remember that song? Are we going to let the elevator bring us down? Oh, no, let's go. Yeah, that song is prophetic, right? In that Prince was found dead in his elevator. Am I right? Yeah. yeah, the elevator brought him down, but he went up, you dig? Yeah, he wouldn't let that elevator bring him down, yeah. Before that elevator could go down, he went up, yes, to the cosmos, oh yeah. But the moon in Taurus motivates our self-respect and acceptance of change as part of life. The only constant in life is change. So, you know, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Yeah, get comfortable. Ego seeking outward and never finding is insanity. Don't mistake the things in the material world for that something that you are lacking. You can't lack anything out here. You know, you won't find it. Go within, go inside of yourself and you'll find it. Turn your ego inward and drop your mind into your heart. Yes, get small, acquiesce to who you really are, no matter what the external world says. Yes, stand firm and know your truth and purpose and accomplish the mission that you came here on earth for to begin with. Yeah, you chose this avatar. You came into this physical form, this shape, onto this earth to accomplish a mission. Now you gotta know yourself first before you can know your mission. And the way to do that is meditation. To transcend material, ascend to higher level of consciousness and find out there at the soul star chakra, right? <clears throat> yeah, so that you can fully experience life in this material world without forgetting your divine plan. At the same time, don't get so caught up up here in the clouds that you lose touch with the reality that you created. Balance is the key. And Pisces season, right? Pisces, symbol and glyph, right? It's all about duality in polarity, right? Opposite forces, they attract, yeah. 
like magnets, right? Imagine these two lines. See these curved lines? Imagine that they're magnets, right? They're repelling. They're repelling, but you, if you turn the other one, you invert the other one, they attract because the poles are opposite forces, right? The north with the south and the south with the north. Yeah. Okay, so today's ruling energy is the solar plexus chakra. Yellow, beige, or tan is the color that opens, activates, and balances the solar plexus chakra, which is right here. Upper abdomen from the navel all the way up to the breastbone. Yes. Okay, so it's the highest spinning sphere of energy in our spine for our soul, okay? See, the three lower chakras I call the soul. So the solar plexus is the highest spinning sphere of energy in our soul. The third vortex of vitality in the seven primary chakras of our core, our current. In Sanskrit, it's called Manipura, meaning lustrous gem, city of jewels. Because, this is what I um, interpret it to be, because here in our gut is where we store our values and principles. The solar plexus chakra is our personal power, right? It protects our most prized possession, which is our sense of self, personality, our self-image. That's our treasure. Treasure, that is what you are. You're my shining star. Yes, Bruno Mars, love him. Did you know that his mom's name is Bernadette, just like me? So I feel like I'm his mom. I'm so proud of him. Anyway, the solar plexus chakra powers our will to stand up and fight for our right to be who we are and for the protection and safety of ourselves and others, especially our loved ones, right? It's our fight or flight response to survive and thrive on this earthly plane and this material world. Our gut instinct, the fire in our belly that charges us to choose life, right? Yeah. The intestines are, is our primal brain, yeah, that directs us. It tells us not to question why, but to do or die. You dig? Yeah, here's the symbol of the solar plexus chakra on my chakra shawl. It's a lotus flower with 10 petals. Can you see? See the petals? I know it's hard to see because the background is yellow and the print is white. But the 10 petals represent the life force that connects the mind, body, and soul. And the unfolding of spirituality or divinity, right? The petals can also represent the 10 forms of subtle energy or pranas or vayus, okay? That the human body uses each with its own place, movement, element, direction, and function, okay? I got that. That's a quote from Google's generative AI. And then I looked up on 7chakrastore.com. It says that the 10 petals that surrounds a circle of consciousness are often decorated with vrittis. That's a Sanskrit word. 
that represent negative human characteristics that we must overcome to clear the blockage in this chakra. They are the spiritual ignorance, the ha, fear, na, jealousy or envy, ta, treachery or betrayal, fa, shame, da, thirst, da, disgust or hatred, na, delusion, pa, foolishness, fa, sadness. Okay, those are the 10 negative qualities that we must overcome to clear this chakra. And the sacred geometry in the center of the circle of consciousness is the fire tetrahedron, right? Here is a flat surface, so you can only see the front of it, right? The front of the tetrahedron is a triangle. But actually, in 3D, it's a tetrahedron, right? As the solar plexus chakras element is fire. Fire tetrahedron is what this is, the sacred geometry is called, okay? Because it shows the four things needed for combustion. What are they? Do you remember? Fuel, heat, oxygen, and a chemical reaction. Spiritually speaking, the four persons needed to ignite fire for the Lord is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and the believer. Love that. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, and hallelujah. Yes, amen, amen, and amen. So, the solar plexus chakra is the sun of our soul, our system, as it is associated with the sun and the element of fire. Yes, it metabolizes food for the body and the soul, purifying and transforming dense matter. Right? The energy coming from the earth is dense, dark, right? Transforming dense matter into light energy for both the physical and spiritual health of human beings. Yes, as earth energy moves up from the root to the solar plexus, the vigor of life rises to the heart chakra, right? Where it is transformed and united with spirit, bringing human and divine nature into equilibrium and transporting, Merkaba, right? Transporting the combined energy to higher level of consciousness, flowing up to the spiritual chakras for the opening of the divine door of the crown that leads to cosmic copies of heavenly thoughts and ideas, inspirations to manifest in the physical world. Get small? I do. Well, at least that's how I understand it. But God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So the Lord prayer says, right? That's how it goes. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So that tells me like the tabernacle of God that Moses constructed in the Old Testament it's a shadow of the true tabernacle in the kingdom of God. And, well, the kingdom of God is within us, right? You see how I did this chakra chart? I illustrated that each chakra corresponds to each part of the tabernacle of God, right? 
The root is the entrance and the brazen altar. See, I wrote down the parts of the tabernacle above each chakra that corresponds with it. Okay, the sacral is the labor, right? The cleansing water. The solar plexus is the menorah. The heart is the Christ. Sacred Heart of Jesus, the center of this whole thing, tabernacle. The throat chakra is the showbread. The third eye is the altar of incense. And the crown is the Ark of the Covenant, the mercy seat where we meet with God and receive forgiveness and grace. Just as the armor of God, right, described in Ephesians 6, 10 through 19. Yeah, look. See the chakras? Yeah, they are all connected. Everything is connected in the great big circle of life. And it moves us all through despair and hope, through faith and love, till we find our place on the path unwinding in the circle the circle of life yes make time to meditate pray and read your bible every day to exercise your spirit body right if you don't use it, you'll lose it. Start from the bottom to go up and get that chi to flow through your spine freely and unobstructively, right? Clear the passage of that life force going up, right? Let it open up the crown chakra to receive cosmic consciousness, sky energy, Bring it down to meet at the heart, right? For combination, for equilibrium. And surround you with a rainbow aura. See this? Yeah. Of love, light, peace, harmony, wisdom, and understanding. Here's some Bible passages to reflect on today. Psalm 139, 14 says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. 2 Corinthians 3, 18 says, And we who with unveiled faces all reflect the glory of the Lord are being transformed into his image with intensifying glory, which comes from the Lord, who is spirit. Yes. Nehemiah 8.10 says, Do not grieve, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes. Philippians 4.1 says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Yeah? Yes. That's all I have for you today. And once again, I honor God in you and me. Namaste.